നമസ്കാരം വിഷു അ വെരി ഹാപ്പി ജന്മാഷ്ടമി ദ ബർത്ത് ഡേ ഓഫ് ശ്രീ കൃഷ്ണ ഐ ഹാവ് വിത്ത് മീ അ ലിസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ടു ഡു ലിസ്റ്റ് ഫോർ ദ ശങ്കരാചാര്യ ഓഫ് കാഞ്ചി ന വൈ ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് a uh, pressing issue for me this is because as a woman i've struggled terribly in the non dharmic society that both the tamil society is and the indian society is so it looks like we need to uh, fix our society with quite a, a fair amount of dharma because people have gone uh, gone in many wrong directions and who better who very few people are able to do it modi is able to do it with some effectiveness and the rss but i think uh, the shankaracharya of kanchi gets a fair amount of responsibility to do that in tamil nadu and uh, i don't really uh, i don't really see the situation as very good in tamil nadu currently in 2022 so i have a list of requests for the shankaracharya of kanchi to to step in and do in the 2020s one is to take up temple rest first one is to take up temple restoration in the delta belt of tamil nadu so the delta area is the chora nadu and there are i think 11 13000 temples uh, heritage temples that we inherit in in this region i have a list of 1 lakh 50000 58000 temples in the whole of tamil nadu out of which there are 13000 temples in the delta belt and uh, many of these are across the di- districts of nagapatnam tiruvarur tanjavur and tiruchi and out of these many are old shivalayas heritage shivalayas much of these temples also come under the hindu religious endowments board of tamil nadu now within the last year uh, actually within the current year i've seen the destruction of three temp- heritage temples one is the ayur varadraj perumal temple in tiruvarur near the maavur post the second is another krishna temple an- another very beautiful temple heritage temple in bricks uh, close to this pinnavasal temple and the third uh, the the latest disaster is the uh, nida mangalam the aravur uh, karkodageshwara beautiful old shivalaya uh, in nida mangalam again in the tiruvarur area totally destroyed all the bricks taken out and construction restarted now this keeps happening because there is lack of uh, basically lack of understanding that heritage should be preserved there is also a lot of money involved if you restore the temple take off the trees from the old bricks and re- and and fit in whatever bricks are needed it costs much less money it will take you 2 3 lakh rupees but if you cut uh, break it down and rebuild it you can you can take a budget of 1 crore rupees and uh, try to get donors and uh, make a lot of money everybody in the village and everybody in the in the hindu religious endowments board etc make a lot of money so the temples are getting sold and broken like this heritage temples 1000 1200 year old temples um and the shankaracharya of kanchi must take interest he cannot uh, sit for four months in uh, uh, telugu nadu although i see that you ha- there are many problems there but i think um, i think that the matters in tamil nadu have to take a, a better shape and then he can move on to another place because uh, yeah because things have really as we know because of all the dravid uh, thoughts etc have gone quite badly for tamil nadu in the last 50 60 years since the 1960s so one is to take up temple restoration because only he can i don't see anybody else either interested or having the power to be able to get people to do this work uh, power and intelligence second is respect and grow the shivacharya community now while the kanchi math does quite a lot for the sh- quite a lot i don't know at least they invite the shivacharyas over once in a while and the bhattacharyas uh, they haven't integrated them into the math math as much as, as they have grown the vaidikas there is still a hierarchy between these two communities and the, the shivacharyas especially in tamil nadu are the backbone of uh, hinduism here and uh, i would like to see them much more integrated i would like the whole whole shivacharya network to somehow um uh somehow be allied with the kanchi mat and the kanchi mat and and the kanchi shankaracharya take active interest in their lives as much as he does equally to the vaidikas 
Three, get the Vaidigas to be closer to the Tamil people and more easily accessible to do the samskaras. Open up the samskaras to all community who are interested, all Tamil community who are interested to do it. Now, the Vaidigas through time, I think, have and I come also from the Smartas, uh, have been I, a little I, aloof from the rest of Tamil society for whatever lifestyle, eating habits, the uh, the the basically the yagyas that they have to const the sacrifices they have to constantly perform. But I think um, uh, when the culture respects them, I think it's okay. And when they are they have self respect, they really want to do their swadharma. It's okay. But uh, the sort of total breaking the, of the connection between the Tamil Brahmins and the Tamil community that has happened post the Karnanadi and the Evi Ramasami Naikar movement um, that that has to be sort of there has to be a refixing rebonding between the Tamil Brahmins and the uh, rest of Tamil society so most of the Tamil Brahmins at, at least the Vaidi, the people who come from the Vaidikas have left the country but those that remain uh, many of them I see come to the Kanchimat, they owe their, uh, they owe much of their life, their learning to the Kanchimat and I would like to see them be more easily accessible. For example, now everything is on the internet. I would like to be able to go onto an app and if I want to do some uh, either a, a Vrata, a Varlakshmi Puja or I would like to call somebody home, I want to do some Sama Veda Parayana. Uh, I would like to be able to get easy access to high quality people who don't, uh, who I who I can trust, who's not going to cheat me saying pay me 30,000, pay me 40,000, etc. And uh, the Kanchi Mat uh, wants to keep the Vaitikan, the, the students un uncorrupt, I understand, and they keep a close watch over the students that come out of the Kanchi Mat. But uh, the, the Veda Padashala is allied with the Kanchi Mat, but I would like to somehow see these people be more integrated with the rest of society. Uh, for the benefit of society, maybe they, these people will have to let go of some, some of their uh, strict uh, rules but basically the Tamil society will benefit because more people in the Tamil society can do their samskaras, hence purifying themselves and uh, being able to be uh, and making Tamil Nadu a less mentally corrupt, morally bankrupt society that it is currently and for this the the yagyas and the samskaras are very very important and i would also like i know this is a bit uh secret but not so secret also because this is the feedback we've been getting from so a lot i would like to see many of the samskaras open to all parts of community not just uh some parts of community like okay you are able to you you have the privilege to do this but everybody should be able to do all of the samskaras because we are all i get from what i say we are all born impure and uh, uh, certainly in the in, in if you walk on the road in india you're going to get impurity right there unless you're in some forest somewhere uh, with the animals there is no possibility of purity in what we've created as the indian social environment and the indian physical environment so I don't, I don't really see uh, anything holy about uh, uh, any any set of people, and I think all of the samskaras should be open to all of the people in Tamil Nadu, and the vaidigas who perform the yagya should also be easily available to everybody at reasonable costs because uh, people who are genuinely interested are going to the priests but the priests are, are often the shivacharyas who make a lot of money in this so there is this corruption also which uh, i'm not very happy about and the kanchi shankaracharya obviously he knows about this issue and i wish he uh, makes some active app or uh, gets uh, one of his uh, uh, bhaktas to make an app for this purpose uh, the fourth point is get away, get the runaway Tamil Brahmins to get interested in their heritage and contribute at least to their cool temples. Well, um, what I notice is that the both the uh, earlier Periva and the current Periva, they are very soft towards all the Tamil Brahmins who have left the country. So earlier, I remember even in my great grandfather's times, if you cross the ocean, you are not considered, you're considered impure, you're not considered, in fact, you're outcast from the Brahmin community. The, our ancestors had protected our heritage with such severe um, strictures and penances. So uh, um, to sort of soft pander to the Tamil Brahmin community who have left the country, 
uh, it's I'm not saying we need to outcast them but I'm saying we need to stop uh, blowing their horn and uh, what blowing blowing the horn or stop making the egos bigger this is what i mean we would uh, it's better to it's it's not enough that they go there and light a lamp during deepavali or sing a few mantras they have to take responsibility for their ancestors have sacrificed so much for uh, uh, the religion and they have to take up some of the load of the ancestors and uh, either learn the vedas if that is possible or at least contribute to the cool temples which are all uh, shattered and broken and getting broken in the delta area in, in often in the delta area in tamil nadu um, the fifth point again this is very controversial is that i would like to see access to the shankaracharya of kanchi made more professional um uh, early in earlier times in my parent or uh, parents and earlier generation it was a much more softer society so when you go somewhere uh, especially to the kanchi mart it it is a very easy peaceful place to be and somehow you can just talk to people softly and 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 get a darshan or or, or give your uh, or share your heart with the uh, the shankaracharyas but right now in a very fast paced society everyone having cell phones and everyone wants to be busy and big uh, the access to the Shankar, uh, the shankaracharya of kanchi is um, is not so easy and uh, I, i would like to avoid all the uh, currying favors and the nepotism that can happen i'm not saying it is happening i'm saying let's just make it more professional uh give tickets give meetings give bookings and uh mm, let let us uh channelize meeting meeting his holiness uh in a in a better way um I I wouldn't have made this video and uh big I only make it because I'm very hurt as a woman uh in this Tamil society and Indian society and uh, if the solutions are not coming from our leaders then it has to come from us as individuals